pandemic searching. Uh, you, you're looking for the best place where the best word for your circumstances can be found. Um, some of my members um, sold some seeds into the ministry on yesterday and uh, it was part of the new school form of giving and I always try to respond to all of the gifts and givers during this pandemic because seeds produce harvest. Seeds produce harvests. And for what you need in your life, you need to plant a seed for it. If you like collard greens, plant some collard seeds. If you need some corn in your life, plant some corn seeds. Well, if you need finances, work with what God creates harvests out of and watch what he does. One of the texts out of 31 Days of Biblical Empowerment that becomes uh, our uh, padding place for today is found in uh, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verse 38. And the overall measure of direction, devotion, meditation, is that Jesus is necessary. <laughs> Jesus is necessary. Father, Jesus equates himself being necessary as what Mary had discovered. Mary discovered it. Jesus came to her house. It was also the house of Martha. It was also the house of Lazarus, his dear friends, all three of them. Let, let me just give the overarching. In, in Luke um, 10, 38 through 42, Jesus provides a settling answer for an unsettled, wearied, and upset people. Here is how the New Living Translation relates it. It says, as Jesus and his disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home, into her home. Her sister, Mary, after Jesus got comfortable, sat at the Lord's feet while listening to what he taught. But he just came to the house and she saw his feet as a place to sit. It was almost like a classroom when the Lord uh, would enter into someone's home. The book says contrastly, but Martha was distracted by the big dinner that she was preparing. Jesus is in the house, so I got to fix what uh, I believe would be nourishment for him as he is making his journey through this village. She came to Jesus, uh, wiping her hands on one of the dish towels and, or possibly even her apron, and she began to query Jesus, uh, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you? She's imposing her mindset. Doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits while I do all the work? 
tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, to Martha, my dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all of these cooking details, hospitality details, how I am going to feel because I stopped by your house unannounced and you chose to go into the kitchen. But Mary is sitting here at my feet. There is only one thing worth being concerned about and Mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her. So I don't have a whole lot of time but um, the bottom line here Find you a good spot. Now you're yeah, at the Lord's feet. And while there's enough in this world to be unsettled about, there's enough in your community to be worried about, there's enough in your house that could cause you so much pain. But if you just sit down, celebrate some temple, the Lord, the temple himself, the tabernacle came to your house. Uh, coronavirus is all outside of your house, but inside the Lord has shown up. And if you just sit down a while, and listen to what is about to come out of his mouth. I believe he can unsettle what has unsettled you and give you a settlement. He's worth getting at his feet. He's worth it because he can take your worry away. Whatever has upset you, and you don't have to take somebody else's disposition because your position is that she come into the kitchen to help me. The Lord said, no, you're worried, you're upset over all these details, how I'm going to be treated, but, but get the benefit of my presence and sit down a while. Something may come out of my mouth <laughs> that the Lord wants you to hear. Discover that and watch what you'll find. Sanctify your words today, O Lord. You hear Paul speak when he says, I've received of the Lord that which I deliver now unto you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it passed it among his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Necessary. Make that choice today. The Lord will break off a piece of himself pass it to you. But not only that, the apostle said, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. New Testament. Your new testimony. What you're about to walk into that makes things new. And everywhere your arteries are found in your body. Once this bread and the contents of this cup, this covenant cup, this cup of restoration, this cup of embodiment, this cup of his blood, it'll, it'll circulate all over your body. It'll 
to circulate all over your problems, circulate all over your unsettled, worried, and upset circumstances. Get it from his mouth into yours. Swallow it. Take it in. And let it become part of the temple circulating in you. Triumph circulating in you. Deliverance circulating in you. Clearing your respiratory system. Providing you with a discovery system. Discover the far-reaching blessings of God out of the distress that these times with the pandemic has caused. <laughs> Make that choice today. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. And I guarantee you, you never be sorry or anything the Lord releases in your life. Have a blessed 26th day. God bless.